Hi, this is Kira Lescu of the Eagle Institute. Core values have been proven to be key to high performance in business. This video is part of a series showing you what ours are and why they matter to mindfulness in a business context. Today, we're talking about abundance and it's not what you expect. So stay tuned. So organization are facing At the end of my first year of university, it looked like all of my goals and dreams were going to come true. I was a national finalist in swimming, had all-star status at a regional conference, and I'd upgraded myself in school, going from a social science first year to qualifying for a place in business school. Then I got sick, really sick. I had mono, but I also had complications. And what, is, what should have taken a few weeks to a few months to get over took well over a year. And one feverish night, I went from living my dreams to questioning whether I would ever be able to have any sort of a life at all anymore. Walking from the house to the car would put me to sleep for a two hour nap. And when I went back to school, I just couldn't handle it. I couldn't understand what was happening. I'd read a paragraph, and by the end of it, I'd forgotten already what the first sentence was saying. I went from being close to an honor student to failing. And my health wasn't any better. I was sad. I was scared about my future. And I was definitely giving up on my dreams. This seemingly bleak situation is actually what taught me what abundance really is. I didn't expect to swim at all that year. But it's not what happened. My coach wanted me to do what I could. He asked me to compete, even if I only scored a few points for the team. And to put that in perspective, I just scored about 80 points in our last championship. And even a couple points would help our conference standings. He insisted that I go to our team training camp in Florida, if only to get some sunshine and some warmth. And while I was in Florida, I felt more of a nuisance than like a teammate. But I also started to realize how lucky I was. My team still wanted me, even though I wasn't going to bring them the medals that I had the previous year. I was in Florida for New Year's on the beach, and it was warm. And I was in my beloved pool, if only for a few lengths per day. And I treasured those few lengths that I did every day. Then Christmas break was over. It was time to leave Florida and go back to the cold school. <laughs> And I appreciated so deeply that I got to swim and that I got to go to a great school and that they would still have me. And that maybe even if my dreams didn't come true, I could find something valuable to do with my life. Then magic happened. I had gone from seeing what was missing in my life to seeing all the things that I did have. I appreciated just being able to be in class and I even appreciated homework. I appreciated the short time that I had every other day to swim and be in the water without any expectations. And that's what abundance is. And then the results. Unexpected and amazing results started pouring in. In my first race at our conference championships, I qualified for the final, went on to win a silver medal and qualified for nationals. I won six more medals, including two golds, and qualified for more national events. I had done the impossible, no training, yet I swam at the very top end of my capabilities. Then I went back to school with an easier course load and managed to complete a full five courses with enough good grades to stay in my highly demanding program. Then I won a bunch of other awards. Why, how did this happen? By accident, I had discovered something very important. Abundance is a feeling and not a thing. Abundance is the feeling state of being enough or more than enough. And that's what I felt. And because I felt it for no reason, all the big things came to me in amazing ways. But let's face it, there's times in our business careers where we just don't feel abundant. We don't feel like we have the time we need or the opportunities or maybe even the money to accomplish our desires. 
When that happened, you may feel like I did when I was sick. There's just no way out of this. <laughs> but when you honestly feel abundant, the conditions don't matter. And when you feel abundant, it opens a filter in your mind for you to have possibilities that were closed when you didn't feel abundant. Don't believe me? Have you ever had a friend come to you moaning about the problem that seems insolvable to them? They tell you about it in detail and it takes you 10 minutes or maybe even 30 to get a word in edgewise. And when they finally run out of breath and you get to speak and you tell them the answer and you know that it works because you've done it yourself, they look at you like you're crazy and they keep moaning about this terrible problem as if you've never spoken. You are abundant in the context of this problem and they are not. Therefore, you've lived the solution to this problem and they have not. Abundance is the feeling state of being enough. And because you're human, it's actually your birthright. The right to feel that you are enough exactly as you are. There will continue to be challenges and like me, you will most likely feel times in your day when you don't feel abundant, not enough time, not enough help, missing the knowledge you need, maybe not enough money. The way out of this is to find a way to feel abundant even when life doesn't look or feel that way. Once you've done that, you've mastered abundance and a really key mental skill. I'd love to hear what things make you feel abundant, especially when it doesn't look to the outside to be that way. Leave us comments below or questions that you have about applying the mental skills of abundance to being a mindful leader. And don't forget, we have lots more resources on mindfulness and business at our website at www.theeagleinstitute.com. And I invite you to check us out. The link is in the cards for this video, the notes below, and the bloopers at the end. And don't forget, we have lots more resources on mindfulness in our on mindfulness and business at our website at www.theeagleinstitute.com. Feeling state and not the thing itself.